we're given this table over here that is already set up for us, and we're to find the count, the number of transactions. It starts with Charlie in Middle East, Charlie in Asia, Charlie in EU, and Charlie in USA, and everything else has been set up for us. So we need the counts, the number of transactions. I'm going to click in K3, and I'm going to click Equal, and we need count, so I'm going to use the count for that one of those functions. There are a number of count functions. The first count function just counts the number of cells in a range that contains numbers, any number. Count A contains counts the number of cells in a range that are not empty. It's got anything, text or a number. Count blank counts the number of cells in a range that are empty, that are blank. Count if counts the number of cells in a range that have a certain criteria, a certain condition. We have two conditions. We want the sales rep and Middle East. So that's why we use the count ifs with the S on the end. That counts the number of cells in a specified region that has a number of criteria. So I'm going to double click that to enter it. And the first thing it says is the criteria range. So we're going to use the region. And over here, the range is here under the region title. And I'm going to bring that down to select all of that. That's my range. Put a comma. My criteria is the region up here, K2, comma. My next criteria is the sale rep. So the range for the sales reps right there. Make sure they match up. And then I need to put a comma and give it the cell that has the sales rep. And I'm going to close that with a parentheses and hit enter. So that counted, and it shows that Charlie had six sales to Middle East in this time period. Now, what we want to do is not have to do the, that construction every time we could. But it'd be a whole lot easier if we could make use of the relative and absolute references so we could just copy this formula across. When I inspect my formula, you can see that none of the references are locked down. There's no dollar signs. I always want to be in the region range. So I'm going to put my insertion key there and hit the F4 to lock down that cell. Put my insertion key in the next one. F4 to lock down that cell, and I don't want to lock down the sales reps as well, so I'm going to lock both those rent down totally. But I'm not done. When I'm concerned about my regions up here in row two, I want to make sure as I drag it down and across that it's always going to be referencing row two, but as I go this way, it will be able to shift over one. So the way we do that is to use just one dollar sign. And if we look up here in K2, we want it to stay in the second row. So I'm going to put my insertion point there and hit dollar sign, whoops, dollar sign to lock down that row. Now for the reps, I want to always stay in column J. So I want to lock down the J, and I put my dollar sign there and hit Enter. And so now I can copy this down and get those correct, and then get my plus and copy it across. And I now have that formula done very efficiently and effectively and quickly using absolute and relative references.